Welcome to our Safe Crossing Choices video. This is Lesson 1, Video 3 for our Let's Go curriculum. Let's talk about what we're covering today. First, the what. Understand and describe safe crossing choices. Why do we need to know this? So we can safely and successfully cross streets and intersections to get to where we need to go. How will you know if you have it? Well, you will be able to describe some of the safest choices for crossing streets and intersections and why you know they are the safest option. Three new vocabulary words in today's video include pedestrian infrastructure or crossing tools, crossing flags, and crossing beacons. You're now an expert at the four main steps for crossing a street safely and you understand the different parts of a city block which are important for walkers and rollers. Let's figure out where it's safest to cross. Let's start with reminding ourselves what we need to watch out for. We always want to be aware of traffic, like cars, buses, and trucks. And we need to be aware of other road and sidewalk users, like walkers and rollers. That's just to name a few. Okay, so now that we have that, where should we walk? Sidewalks are always a good place to walk when they're available. If no sidewalk is available, then we walk against traffic or facing traffic, not in the road, and at as safe of a distance as possible from vehicles. Definitely avoid walking in the road when you're able. Drivers don't expect you there. And also, try to keep a safe distance between you, the road, and vehicles. Now for our safe crossing choices. First, see and be seen. For safe crossing, we want to be sure we can see others and we can be seen by others. We don't want to cross mid-block or between cars. We can't see well and we can't be seen by folks driving or using the street. That's not a safe place to cross. Remember, drivers can't actually see that much. They have a lot of distractions and things that might block their view. It's important to say it again, see and be seen. Next, cross at corners. Corners are a safe crossing choice because they're predictable. Other road users anticipate walkers and rollers to cross there. You also have a better view because of less things blocking your way. Lastly, use crossing tools or pedestrian infrastructure. Pedestrian infrastructure are things built to improve the safety, comfort, and visibility of pedestrians. Can you think of a cool piece of pedestrian infrastructure? That's right, the trusty marked crosswalk, a great safe crossing choice. A pedestrian signal is always a safe crossing choice if you can use one. Remember that it is still important to look left, right, and left make good eye contact with other road users, and keep looking around to be sure you're still safe. We cross when the signal shows us the walking symbol. We don't want to cross the street if the countdown has already begun. It is better to wait to ensure we have enough time to get to the other side by walking, not running. Crossing flags are another great tool that you may have seen around your school. This safe crossing choice makes you more visible as you cross. Notice that looking left, right, and left is still an important part of each crossing. Crossing beacons are the small lights that light up on a pedestrian sign or along the crosswalk. This safe pedestrian tool makes you more visible and really gets the attention of drivers and road users. Don't forget these other important tips. Walk when crossing, stay alert and pay attention to your surroundings. Walk in a straight line across the street or intersection. Job well done, team. Let's review our safe crossing choices. See and be seen. Cross at corners and use crossing tools when they're available. Ready to reflect? With a family member or a good friend, chat about what types of safe crossing choices are around your school. What about where you live or a place you like to play? Have fun and we'll chat soon.